It was quite difficult coming into NHS because before that I was actually the co-chair with the minister because I've had the experience of being in assessment and treatment units. So I used that experience. After coming out of assessment and treatment units, your confidence wasn't uh, to build me confidence, and that was through and the self advocacy group helped me do that. But then I went on to be a counsellor, and well, at the same time as this job, I became deputy mayor of a town council as well, and um, then came mayor. Coming out into the community, that's brought this experience to the job because a lot of health staff felt was thinking it's just health. They're not they weren't thinking about the social care and voluntary aspects of things. All new creations. They were doing what they always did, and it's about supporting people. And one of the things I did was introduced the Transforming Care Masterclasses that I did as co-chair when I was with Norman Lamb at the LGA and worked in the, and was chair of the um, patients group. Yep, and that was one of the things we did because when I was co-chair of the National Forum and came and supported the National Forum as their representative on transforming care, we decided that people, other people needed educating about the program. I'd say that you need your confidence building and it's possible if I can be mayor of a town in Selby and being deputy mayor, then it is possible. There's nothing impossible not to do, but it's just, going and getting the right information and the right support and that was where one of the things I did was being involved in self-advocacy groups. So it's about going out there and getting the confidence built. But it's going to the right employment service as well. But I did this through building my own confidence and a lot of it's helped being on the council, representing a lot of people in my world.